Got the honor of talking to the residents of Arabaca about venomous creatures, and of course the most notorious ones are rattlesnakes. So I bring a few display animals. Uh, this is an Arizona black-tailed rattlesnake. And my message to people is that rattlesnakes like this, and this is a fairly good sized rattlesnake, want nothing to do with something our size. If we would just leave them alone and, and watch where we put our hands and feet, you know, most snake bites would be prevented. These guys have lots of, of natural predators, badgers and hawks and owls and coyotes. So they're not looking for an encounter with something our size. So, you know, the rattlesnakes are around. They're a part of the desert. They're actually kind of a fun part of the desert if you're careful where you put your hands and feet and you leave them alone when you find them. There's not a lot of them. They're great predators of rodents, which, you know, is a, a good thing for most people. Of course, you go out and step on one or, and get bitten, it's not such a good thing, but they kill very few people. There's about uh, five deaths per year in the whole United States. And in Arizona, a 30 year study found there was about five years between deaths. So one death every five years on average. So the, um, the chance of dying from a snake bite is, is not good. Um, the message from the poison center is leave them alone, avoid being bitten. If you are bitten, there's not much first aid that does any good. The only treatment is antivenom and you get antivenom in the hospital. People don't die from these bites very often. They're treatable. And the, the key is don't waste time, go to the hospital.